thumbs up this video if you like watching girls glue hair on their face. Or even if you don't, just thumbs up this video if you like that I did a Duck Dynasty tutorial or if you're a fan of Duck Dynasty 2. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any more of my awesome videos because who knows what I might do next. <laughs> I don't know why guys want beards. This is the most itchy, annoying thing I've ever had on my face and it is driving me crazy. I feel like I'm being attacked by hair on my face. Hi guys, it's your good friend Candy just sipping on a glass of sweet tea showing you how to look like a man. Because what's more beautiful than a woman that looks like a man? Nobody's actually ever said that. Oh, this rose ring. That looks great. That looks great. Stay tuned at the end to see if there are any bloopers. Now let's get started and I'll show you how to look like a man. Well first, we'll start with me looking like a girl, but you know what I mean, let's get going. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just get all this makeup off my face, cause you know boys don't like to wear makeup. There we go. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is just add a little bit of contour to my face. I'm gonna take a light color and I'm gonna try to make my nose look a little more manly. I like the side of my nose right here a little bit. I want my forehead to look a little more broad right here, so I'm just going to make this look a little more pale. And I'm gonna make this look a little more round. Get a little bit darker brown. And at the top of my nostrils are gonna go down. I'm going to make sure that we conceal the mouth because guys never really have red lips too often. I'm also going to take this concealer and go over my eyebrows just to lighten them just a wee bit because mine are pretty dark. I'm going to take a, a taupey brown and I'm just going to make some kind of creases like he has under his eyes a little bit. And I'm going to do a little crease action right here to make this look more like the shape of his eyes. I'm also going to take this brown and go down the side of the nose just a little bit to make my nose look a little longer and rounded. Looking more like a man every second, aren't I? Now I'm going to take an angle brush in any of these browns and kind of make my eyebrows look a little more like his. Okay, now I'm just going to take a brown pencil and really kind of go to town with the hair strokes. And then I'm going to take a little bit of Hula bronzer and we're just going to kind of contour the side of the face. Okay, so now we're ready for the fun part. So I have a beard. You can get any beard kit like this and some spirit gum and that's what's gonna make it look really good. And then you're also gonna need some scissors. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this off the top so it looks more natural. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna start gluing this onto the face. So what works kind of well is if you make it into a little bit of a point, you can kind of roll it around and separate it a little bit and then pull the pieces down so it's more into a point so you can glue it onto the face. But the beard starts right about here. So I'm just gonna paint the spirit gum on and then you kind of tap it to activate it. it. Smells disgusting. So you just tap it and that's what makes it sticky and when you see the strings you can feel it. It will start pulling your, see how it's pulling my skin like that? Now it's nice and ready for us to stick our little beard pieces on. So I'm gonna kind of stagger them, push them up on to our face. Look at my beard. There's beard coming here everywhere. Right up to the bottom and just look at it. Yes, yeah, this stuff is so messy. Once we finish trimming up our beard, the only thing left to do is put our wig on. And you may think I'm talking funny, but it's because I can't move because of all this hair on my face. If you want to know where I got any of this awesome stuff, I will put the links below on my blog post where you can find it all. Oh, wait a second. We're not done. 
I'm gonna get a little bit of wet chalk and I'm gonna color in my sideburns and hopefully this will wash right out. Okay, so now that we've colored our sideburns in, we're gonna put this really unrealistic looking wig on. This is too shiny for human hair, I tell you. I'm not even gonna use a wig cap because it's such a horrible wig. Whoa, I'm looking real manly. <laughs> and then I've got this fabulous American flag that is not folded properly. I know how to do this because I've done tutorials on how you fold your wigs up. Your wigs, your bandana. I just got hair on my mind because of all this hair everywhere. We're just gonna hide this back like so. And this bandana is way too new. And what I've realized is that he wears the hair behind his ear and that just the sideburns which I didn't color dark enough to out. I really think this girly background goes with this look a lot. All right, just working out the details. We gotta darken up these suckers right here. Got my little Duck Dynasty cup of water. I will put on some more of this right here because this looks lovely. And, and for a last step, you can even take some brown mascara and just kind of stick it in your eyebrows. So it just kind of fills them in and they look a little thicker. Some man brows. There you go. Cheers. I think we are done with this Duck Dynasty look. If, I will warn you right now, it is very hard to talk with this beard on and I cannot move my mouth very much, but maybe that's good if you want to have a new accent that you didn't know you possessed. I hope you guys like this. My ears look really red and I'm sorry about that. I, I do not think Willie Robertson's ears are red at all. Okay, I will tell you guys a side story. The closest I've ever gotten to meeting one of the Duck Dynasty clan, which I was so excited, I was at Miss USA, and I'm not trying to make myself sound fancy, I was just at Miss USA, and Jep Robertson was sitting right in front of me, and when we got up to leave, I was like, I gotta go talk to him. So I went to go meet him, and he was one of the nicest human beings I've ever met in my life. His wife, Jessica, was one of the judges. I didn't get to meet her, but she's beautiful. And I got to meet him and he said that he liked my short hair and he was so incredibly nice. We even took a picture together. I was so excited. And that is my Duck Dynasty experience story. I love that show. If you are a Duck Dynasty fan too, thumbs up this video. I hope you guys like it. More video tutorials are on the way. You could check out my other channel, Candyland. It's so hard to talk with this thing on. Um, you could check out my other channel, Candyland. I cannot move my mouth. This is so, it's like just, you try talking without moving your lips. It is very hard to do. Um, which kind of makes me sound like, uh, like I'm Jace Robertson, which is kind of interesting. But um, I'll put all the links below. If you want to follow me all the place, in sweet tea so good. It just doesn't put hair on your chest. It put hairs on your face. I got a beard and I'm a girl. I seriously look like a man. This is kind of scary. The best part is, is I glued this on with spirit gum. And I'm all out of spirit gum remover. I don't know how I'm gonna get this off my face. I got a bald spot on my beard. So I hope you guys like this tutorial. Make sure you subscribe. Check out my other channel, Candyland, cause you can see some of my outtakes or behind the scenes of um, what my family thought of my bearded look. I will, if you wanna go see it, my second channel is Candyland. If you wanna follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, even on Vine or my blog, it's Candy Johns. I'll put links to everything below if you wanna see more funny pictures and things of me every day and stuff I do. So huge hugs. Lots of beard hair all over my desk, and um, yeah, lots of hugs from my house to yours. I'll see you guys in the next video. I mean, when I was little, there was this lady, and she, I, I don't know if I've told you guys the story before, and this lady was like, you look like the little boy from the Black Stallion, that movie, The Black Stallion. And I was like six or something, and I remember she was like, that lady just said I look like a little boy. I don't want to look like a little boy, I'm a little girl. And so to this day, I like walk by the mirror sometimes like you do. You look like that little boy from Black Stallion. Now you look like a big boy, but you still look like a boy. But now I've grown up, now I look like a man. When I was little, my dad used to say, you better eat that, it'll put hair on your chest. And I was like, I don't want hair on my chest, dad. That's gross. Kind of like it. Kind of feel powerful with the beard. I kind of just want to, I want to like mull some things over and pull on my beard. Hmm. Oh yes, this is giving me lots of clarity about that. Oh. I even always carry a beard around so I can ponder things with my beard on. I love beards, don't you? If you love beards, comment below. If you also love Duck Dynasty, comment that below too. If you wish you had a beard to pet, comment that below also. Thumbs up this video if you like beards. Thumbs up this video if you've never had a beard.
thumbs up this video if you wish you could feel my beard. That's weird. Do not thumbs up this video for that reason. Because that is strange. And I don't want to make you strange. Look at this hair. Look at this. Look at my face. Thumbs up this video if you love Duck Dynasty as much as I do. I can't stop looking at my face because I look like a dude. This is crazy. Ow! See, you couldn't pull the hair off, but that hurts. Real bad. Look at this. Oh, man. Ah! Yeah, that doesn't feel good. I totally know that I look like a boy.